So I had another interesting adventure. Uh, I came out to clean the coils with uh, just basically low pressure hose water just to get the salt and the dirt off it uh, on my HVAC condenser unit. Each uh, unit has a disconnect box right here. I turned the power off, which is smart. Did all the cleaning, let it dry, and then I went to turn it back on, nothing. I did hear the uh, contactor kick in. This is 12 volt right here coming in from the actual thermostat inside the house. So you'll get a 12 volt in and this will depress the contactor. And then boom, goes over here to capacitor, spins up your compressor and fan, I'm getting nothing. So lesson learned is uh, check the power input. I went in, the first thing I did, again, this is for entertainment purpose only. I'm not an electrician, I'm not an HVAC guy. I just uh, know how to kind of troubleshoot stuff and kind of be safe about it. Right now the power is off, disconnect. And what you do is I came in, first thing I did was I checked the continu continuity on the uh, contactor. Because I went online and everyone says, if you're getting a little buzz, it's probably the contactor. And uh, then I watched several other videos and I think, okay, this is fine. I checked the ohms as well on it. It was about 14 ohms, 15 ohms. So not too bad. That was all right. So I figured, all right, the contactor's all right. This is odd. Uh, why am I still getting, if I do power to ground on my multimeter, right? On, uh, you know, checking a uh, volt, AC volts on each one right here. I get about 115, 120 power to ground, lead the ground right here, black the ground, red, then then ground at 150, 115. But then when I do both using my uh, meter, I did not, I got zero. I'm thinking, what is going on? So I knew the contractor must be fine. It must be working. It's not the problem. Okay, why am I getting zero? But I'm getting this false 115 at 115. And you're not being a professional with this. I'm thinking something's not right. I go, is it the uh, capacitor? It's getting power. Power is still going through. What's going on? Uh, this is fine. It's not bulged. There's no oil leaking or anything. So it looks fine. I did order a backup just to have it because you never know where these things go. You can replace them yourself. If you have aptitude, again, know what you're doing. Turn electricity off. Be safe. Be safe. So again, the big problem is continuity, ohms, Contactor looks fine. All right, not getting 240 in. Oh, what the heck is that? 115, 115. That threw me for a bit because I'm still getting juice through the cable, the load coming out. And if you look at this again, power's off. Here's my in right here, 240 in. When I checked those leads with my multimeter, 240. Boom. Went in. I checked all my breakers in the house. There's a breaker coming into this box. That I reset it. It came out 240. That's good coming in. Down here, the load going out. Right here, these two feeds, both together on the multimeter, zero, right? But even though it's still feeding up in here, you get 115 power to ground, power to ground. It's misleading to me. That kind of threw me, because again, I'm not a pro at this. And then you're not getting 240 in. So basically, 240 in's good from the house, not coming out, bad switch, bad switch. Here I'm thinking it's the HVAC. So the HVAC came out just to confirm. He first thing you check was he goes your switch is battery electrical issue. They don't do electrical. So you have an electrician coming out to uh, replace the switch. I'm not going to mess with it even though I could. I just don't want to. I just want to get it done because I don't want it to get hot. We've been lucky. It actually cooled off a couple days here. So there you go, man. I checked this. I was going to check this. It's just funny. When you're doing this stuff, you learn to start at the beginning. And I, if you're not getting right readings, I was actually on my way to Home Depot to get a better multimeter thinking my Klein didn't do the job, but it was working fine, you know? I just wasn't, I was just thrown that I was getting 115, 115 and not to 240. And then even when I had the power on and I had the thermostat on, it, the contactor was pressed and that's the neighbors right there. <laughs> that just kicked in. And uh, I was not getting 240 out either, so. Something was throwing me on that and not thinking that, oh, why am I not getting 240 in? I just assumed that the input was good. Why would that break? Because I thought, oh my God, 
I rinsed down the unit. I must have shorted something out in here. You know, I was very careful with the water spray not to get in here. I even looked, there was no water in here. So yeah, always check your switch, your breakers. If you know what you're doing electricity, be careful. Again, for entertainment, call an electrician if you don't know any of this stuff. I'm just showing you what I went through today, my adventure. And I do have the electricians coming out to replace this 240 breaker. And uh, hopefully, hopefully, I get my 240 in with the new breaker, which I should, and this wall works and nothing else breaks. <laughs> That's the hope. But it is cool enough out that I don't need the air conditioner right now. So good news. Uh, this is a 2017 Ream model and uh, still working strong. And I just wanted to keep the fins clean. And it's just funny. Sometimes when it ain't broke, don't fix it. But you want to keep, I mean, if you're building up mud and salt and stuff, and we are in a salinic environment down here, I just want to get that off to keep it from corroding and uh, get all the crap out that falls down inside. Again, maintenance, maintenance. But knowing that these switches are hardly ever used and they're outside, even though they're in the box here, just they go, I guess they fail, right? Things fail, it's a 20 year old house. So, well, maybe more, 20, 25 year old house. So stuff happens. All right, that is all I got. Fun with homes, fun with home repairs. God knows, I don't know, I gotta pay the um, diagnostic fee, I guess on the HVAC guy who came out. I don't know what that's gonna cost. But who cares? Um, it is what it is. Because I'm thinking, what did I do? This thing could not go for me just turning the breaker up and turning it back on. There's nothing that would break. This thing is supposed to handle juice right here. That's supposed to be able to handle things fine. And uh, I'm just going, these things cannot be that fragile. It's bugging me. You know, it's just freaking me out. So I have no idea why it did that. I'm looking at my fins now. I know why I got some pitting in there. What's that? Yeah, I don't know if that's starting to corrode. Who knows? Oh my God. I don't know when to install these things if they're roughing them or not. Anyway, got sidetracked. So there you go, a little life lesson for you. Uh, careful, capacitors are dangerous. You gotta short them out. There's instructions when I do that, but I'm not gonna show you it because I am not an electrician. This is just my adventure for today. So hopefully we get my new switch installed today. Boom, pay the HVAC guy for saying, yeah, that's the problem, you're not getting juiced. I say, can you check this and this? I mean, he confirmed this was good with the, uh, what I did, the continuity and the ohm check. And he said, this looks, this looks good too, the capacitor. All right, that's all I got. Go forth, guys. Always an adventure with home ownership, man. Always an adventure. Oh my God. I'm actually kind of sick of it. I just want to be done and uh, rent. Because <laughs> there's always another bill coming. You just don't know what's going to happen. All right, take care. I am out. Oh, here's my multimeter for reference. And M300, there's newer ones out there. This is pretty old, but it still works for our car stuff. I do over here, you know, 12 volt stuff. And then over here, you can do what I was checking the 240 on the uh, voltage at Karen. Anyway, thanks for watching. I will talk to you later. Adventures and home ownership.